hi guys so welcome again to usena solutions today we are going to discuss about how you can operate your incubator so with me here we have this incubator as you can see that's a, a 2000 capacity incubator so this is a sure hedge incubator and uh, it comes with um a bucket a smaller bucket but this one we have replaced it to put a bigger bucket so that we avoid uh, replacing so what are the main uh, components of um, of an incubator when you're looking for an incubator so this is the setup for the incubator this one is the light and um, you see the light is switching on and off so when you want to see inside we have a light and then this one it's for egg turning I'll show you inside we have some tenors so it's an automated system and then this one yeah we are controlling our temperature so there's it is a thermostat that means when the temperature uh, we have set it like you set it like this one so 37 so our temperature we put it 37.5 we've used this recommendation so how it operates it's like when temperatures it goes about level state 7.6 so this one you are heating the um, the switch is off uh, so that means the heaters are off and then the coolers when it reaches 37.8 this cooling button it switches on and then uh, this one is like the, the on button the incubator is on I will show you uh, when the temperature is um, is too low and then it switches uh, off. Now we go on this one. This one is the humidity. Um, humidity normally it should range between 50 to, to 65. Then now the humidity tends to be 78 which is a little bit on the higher side. But normally humidity it's not um, that in of um that you should worry about it and going up to 70 or even up to 80 then it will be okay you don't have to worry that much so those are the components for the incubator and then we also have this one uh, so that one is the tenor for when it is uh turning uh it it rotates uh using this um this is the motor for for the turning and then what was on the outer side and this cable it's uh, going inside that's for for the power and then these two openings uh these ones um yes let me show you uh it's turning so as you can see um it's moving uh, i have to show you this one i uh, look at that white thing it's moving and moving you can see there's a fan inside and you can clearly see the fan so it rotates after every 10 minutes it rotates yes so that's that's how it it rotates how i just thought I, I have to show you when it is actually uh, rotating and then uh, so these two holes i was talking about these two holes these two holes um we have another this side they are for for the opening for humidity so when the humidity is high you open them like this uh when humidity is low you you close them like this and then the humidity and then maybe the humidity is not is fluctuating then you have to slightly open them like this but as now the humidity is a little bit high so they should be uh, as as open as possible and then um the temperature is also okay now let me show you inside So this one, it has an, um, when you open the doors, it actually switches off the machine. So this one is the switch uh, for, for your incubator. So I'm going to close one door so that uh, the light turns on. And then inside we have a fan. You can see that fan. So inside we have a fan. And then we have uh, two element heaters. And then 
now we can set our eggs here we have um, a temperature and humidity recorder and then the fan it helps to circulate uh, the air within within the incubator and then water it comes up through that pipe outside i think i showed you so that's the pipe that uh, it comes out from the water comes out from and then here we have this tray with a uh, fruit valve so when it is full uh, the fruit valve uh, it, it closes and then here you we set our um, our trays so this one is a 2000 capacity and then you put our uh, 440 eggs on average per week and then uh, so you put them on a weekly basis so you have to you can pile your, your eggs like uh, this as you can see uh, one on top of the other and then we normally put them uh, from from this side yes we put them from this side uh, going this side and then we go also on the on the lower part uh, going uh, this side and then also we we label our eggs so these are the labels for the eggs so that we know uh, when we put this one is an X, this one is a Q2, these ones are U, and then these ones are AD, these ones are X3, these ones are GB. So we, we put our eggs um, with different codes uh, depending on when we put them on, also on the customer. So some are initials for, for our clients who comes. Uh, when when we are putting so right now uh, I've opened the doors and as you can see now the heaters are on because I've opened the doors and some of the the air is, is coming out and also check on the humidity it has also dropped because also I've, I've opened the doors so make sure that when you are using your incubator your doors always are closed and uh, what I like about the sure H um, incubators they have this rubber seal to make sure that uh, air it doesn't easily escape uh, or even unnecessarily fall from the incubator so it maintains the, the humidity and also if you can check uh, thickness for for this they have a good thickness so also it helps to to maintain your your temperatures even if when it's too hot it doesn't affect the inside even if it's too cold it doesn't affect uh, what is uh, inside that is one of those things that I like about uh, the sure hedge and then so it runs automatically so what you have to do you fit your eggs here and then I'm going to show you how you you remove your eggs from this part when you want them to be ready for for hatching so now I need to to load my eggs so we load the eggs in in this tray that one when when you are removing them from these um, these trays you load them in these baskets so what you do you place your basket here and normally we use these um, this cloth this cloth as you can see them why uh, here we need to avoid the, the splayed legs when your cheeks hatch and when they don't have um, these uh, clothes they tend to to have some some splayed legs and then now once you you have completely um, loaded your your cloth like that now as you can see this one is tilt so there are two ways that you can do number one you can close it and then you wait for for it to turn uh, so that it's like it becomes a little bit more flat or number two here at the side you press this button push but make sure you press it uh, while it's again holding your trays inside because if you don't do that actually your your eggs will break so i'm going to do it uh, simultaneously so i'm going to hold here and then you see this other hand is going to press on the on that push button to disengage the, um, you see and then you turn them and then now as you can see they are horizontal and then you switch off the turner you switch off the turner and I'm now able to to work 
on on my eggs uh, freely and then now today uh, I'm going to to remove uh, some of the eggs I need to put them down there so I have an application uh, that I use um, let me show you I have an application that I use is called Hedgekeeper so this one it gives me uh, so I'm going for code that is B1 and U1 then I look so as you can see this is U1 this is U1 this is um, AB1 so I'm not going for AB1 but I'm going for AB3 and then where is B1 yeah B1 is just below these ones so I'm going for for these uh, and then I'm going to to take them down so I have all the codes um, and then this one is on day 17 so I'm not taking the day 17 I'm taking the day 18 yes yeah, so it's day 18 of 22 why I put them on on day 22 not 21 is because some of these are uh, chickens they don't actually normally hatch on on day 21 they don't fully hatch on day 21 some will finish hatching on on day 22 so here we are now i'm taking these eggs and then i'm putting them up from here now you you load all the eggs so this one this one is takes 30 and this one is takes 90 to 100 so three of these you will fit in one of this one so let me load and then i'll show you again later so now we have finished loading our eggs just said a few that we needed to sample for you and then we use this one and then you close on top So that when the chicks age, they don't come out. So you can pile about three of them um, on here on this side, and then you can pile the others also on on this side. And then now after that, you you close your incubator. And then after closing don't forget to switch on the tenor and then now look at my temperature it's now on 30 36 uh, because I've been opening it so it has to rise again and then see the the temperature is is up uh, is eating and then it's actually rising so from 36 let's watch as it uh, rises to 37.5 and then you see that it actually switches off automatically uh, the heat so let's watch so it's now about two minutes and um, as you can see um, it's now on 37.5 so I've put it on fast forward so that um, we quickly get to, to that same but it's now about two minutes from from the time I closed and uh, you see as it get to 37.6 the heat is now off so it is it maintains its own temperature it doesn't consume uh, a lot of power because of, of the thermostat it switches on and off so if you have any questions about the incubator anything that you want to ask how you can manage your incubator so please comment on the comment section below so that you ask anything and then I'll make a video or I'll respond it uh, to you. If you have uh, any questions and um, how to manage the incubator, how to, to keep your eggs or even before, uh, if you have any kind of questions on the incubator, so please you can ask us and then we will respond to you. So bye guys, till next time. Don't forget to subscribe below um, so that you won't miss any of the videos that we're going to upload so till next time bye bye